Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Oracle DB online training. So in this session, we will be looking at uh, how you can perform the any uh, standby database troubleshooting. And uh, in this tutorial, we'll be looking at uh, live demo, how you can perform or how you can do the troubleshooting of uh, any standby database issue. We'll, we'll, we will be taking one uh, simple example and uh, we'll do the troubleshooting from start to end, okay? What should be your approach in order to troubleshoot any uh, issues for standby database that we are going to look? But before we start, I'll request all new friends to please uh, subscribe our YouTube channel, Oracle DB Online Training. We have already shared a lot of videos on this. Uh, um, so if you go, go through our videos, you'll, you'll find out there are various topics we have covered so far, like uh, from beginning, like we have started with the rack, uh, installation, rack upgradation, and so many different different topics we have covered. And uh, recently, I have also launched my uh, online course that uh, you can purchase only at like seven thousand rupees. And uh, there is additional discount I am going to provide if you if you uh, take the this course on the very same day. Like uh, let's say if you are inquiring about this course today, and if you are getting it on the same day, then you will will get additional 1000 rupees discount that is you are going to get it at only at 6000 rupees but it has to be done only on the same day okay apart from that you can also purchase our uh, documents uh, based upon which i make all these videos and uh, this is all my youtube related uh, contents related uh, documents so you can refer this document and you can also follow me on the i mean you can perform the same thing uh, as a practice for yourself by yourself okay um, and uh, if you if you are interested about any personal training or any uh, database uh, assistant you can get in touch with me on this contact number or email address i'll definitely try to help okay and also you can follow me on various uh, uh, social media platforms so so without wasting much of time let's uh, start today's uh, today's agenda that is uh, how to uh, do the troubleshooting if you have uh, like uh, standby or normal single uh, standby data. Okay, so let me just uh, go go to my uh, command prompt. So here I, I can uh, see. So we have like uh, two primary setups, which is running as a prod one, prod two instances. Okay, and the same database is having the standby database as a standby one, standby two. And uh, we'll be looking at how you can do the uh, troubleshooting in case there is any lag or any issue happens. Okay, normally, as of now, we have the database running with the media recoveries also running. And uh, you can see the, all the archives is already applied so far. There is no issue as of now. We'll try to create one issue and uh, we'll try to see whether there is anything how to troubleshoot. Okay, so if you look at this, uh, I mean, Output you can find out the uh, destination two is my standby test ID which is set and uh, I can currently see there is a uh, zero lag as of now and uh, all the destination ID shows the uh, status is valid and uh, and apart from that if you go to standby database and if you run database uh, status command so it is read only with apply okay that means my database is currently in sync with my primary uh, database okay. So let's let's try to do some uh, changes within the database and try to see whether the uh, I mean uh, uh, how to look at the issues. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, try to check the listener status on this uh, standby database server, and I'll try to stop one of the listener and try to see what happens exactly there. Okay. So I try to stop the local listener, which is running from a great user. And uh, in order to do that, I need to use LSNR CTL uh, stop command. So this command will give me a stop of the listener. And uh, same thing we have to do on the secondary node also. So this is our first node. I'll try to log into the secondary node, that is the STBY2. And I'll try to execute the same command, okay? So these two commands says stop the listener. Let's re-verify it again. Okay, so I, what I'll do, I'll just run ps minus ef grep tns. Okay. So from this output, you can see the local listener which was running earlier on this node has been stopped. Okay. 
So what I'll do, I'll just uh, try to do some lock switching. But before we do lock switching, I'll try to uh, defer the test ID on the primary setup. So log underscore ourself. So the desk two, which is my standby destination ID, which is uh, currently in Apple state, I'll I'll try to make it defer. Okay, alter system set defer. And now I'll again try to do the uh, some log switching alter system switch log file. Even though I'll try to do alter system. Archive okay. So basically, this is generating the archive logs. Okay, but uh, what I'm trying to do here is like uh, we'll try to see what can be the issue when 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 we have this listener stock. Okay. Again, I'll try to do a uh, listener status. Um, this destination ID, I'll try to make it enable. Okay. So now we can see there is a uh, connection refuse error we are getting here. This is my primary node alert log. So as a best practice, whenever you are doing any troubleshooting, you should have the uh, alert log open uh, on both your primary and standby database. As you can see, this IP address is 131 and 132. These are my primary uh, database setups uh, IP address, and I have already opened the alert logs. Okay, so before you do any kind of troubleshooting, you should be uh, if you should always make sure your alert logs are open. And in order to check more detail about this issue, I mean we can look for the traces. So that trace which is uh, I mean uh, this double T zero two. And ending with the dot trc. This is uh, something related to your uh, standby related uh, trace files. Okay. If you want, you can just uh, re-verify. So currently, if you look at this uh, log, it says that it says that a TNS listener could not find out the handle to request. That means there is some issue with the listener, right? So if you go back to the last line of this. Uh, Trace file again. You'll find out that it is not able to connect or it is not able to communicate with the uh, standby database. So <clears throat> let's let's try to look at view wise also. So there is one view. I'll, I'll provide you the more detail about this view. V dollar archive underscore desk. Okay. From this view, you can basically look for any errors. So currently, our destination ID is set to dest ID two. So what I'll do, I'll just select. Uh, Test underscore id comma error from v dollar archive underscore log where where status where desk id desk underscore id equal to two. Sorry, this is not the correct one. We have to look for v dollar archive underscore Dest where dest id equal to two. Okay, so you can see this error uh, showing that aura minus uh, one two five two one. The listener could not find available handle for the request type. That means it is sending the request to connect to the standby, but on standby there is no handler to accept the request, right? So as a as a best practice, what you can do, I mean. Uh, uh, so first thing you can do, you can search for the error and whatever the possible solution you will try to implement, right? So knowing the fact, like what is the issue is very important. So as as we are doing the troubleshooting part, so uh, uh, this is how you can basically verify the issue details. Okay, and now I'll just go to the my primary database and we'll try to see uh, database within the database what is the error we are getting. Okay, let me just reconnect to the database. So this is my database read only with apply and I'll try to run select. Uh, let me just describe this to you dollar managed underscore standby. Okay. Describe V dollar managed standby. Managed underscore standby. There is a spelling mistake which uh, we can ignore. So let's verify the process. 
status and you can also mention the thread hash and the sequence okay so from this you can verify like what is the current status and where it is the rating and all those things you can just verify okay. oh let me uh, i think the command was not copied properly let me read copy again okay. so it says that uh, mrp waiting for log and i cannot see any rfs process active as of now right so now we have to restart the listener so from primary setup we have already got there is some issue with the listener what i'll do i'll just re-verify whether all my listeners are up and running or not so in any rack environment you will find out your local listener has to be up and running okay but in our case local listener is not running so what i'll do i'll just try to add the local listener grep tns okay so let's do the startup of the local listeners this is the second node where I need to start the local listener and uh, again on first node also I'll try to start the local listener. Okay. So start listener. This, these two commands are done. And now I'll try to reconnect to the database and let's see. So, <clears throat> So last time I think we have disabled that uh, destination. Let me okay. So we we just will just try to do again defer and enable. So we have deferred it, and now we'll try to do the enable part. Okay. So again we can see the listener could not find the appropriate handler. So I think we need to restart the ser um, services here. parameter local so this indicates the local listener status and uh, we will try to do some registration to alter system alter system and uh, let me just check the status whether it is listeners are running or not. Is there a TNS? So this listener got started and this is still not updated. We'll try to do some log switching and let's see. Volta system current log will switch the all market on both the nodes. Okay. So this is now switched, but uh, the archive is not switched to standby. Let me recheck. We'll try to re-verify the error now. So again, the listener uh, status is showing that there is no appropriate handler to handle this request so the next thing what we can do here is like we can stop the database and we'll try to see whether it's resolving our issue or not okay so this is the current standby database status and we'll try to stop the services so basically the problem here is the local listener which is running it is not able to recognize the uh, services okay so we are just uh, restarting the standby database so that uh, the service registration can be resolved this process is getting stopped so meanwhile, this uh, database getting restarted, I'll request all the new friends to please subscribe our YouTube channel if you are new on my uh, platform. So let's uh, start this again using the start command. 
So this is getting started now. So as of now, I can still see the errors are there. Let me retry to register this with a local listener. Okay. So local listener just registered and let me retry to uh, check the status. So this is still showing the same thing and we need to think about this error again. So let me just uh, defer and enable it again and let's see whether it is resolving our issue or not. So I think uh, still the same thing we can see here. So the last option that we can try here now we have to uh, do the restart of our uh, um, cluster. Okay. So I'll stop the cluster and we'll try to see whether this will resolve my issue or not. Start the minus minus test. And uh, same thing we need to do on the secondary node. So let me just try to do this again. Um, second node also stop the minus minus test. So during the next startup, it should resolve my issue. Now again, we are trying to start this one, PRS. This is our first node and this one is the second node. I'll just try to start CRS service, start CRS. So it, it will start the database instance also since we have not clearly set down our database instance previously, this was terminated and uh, during the next startup, it will start the database also. Okay. So within a few seconds of time, we'll, we'll see. So now we can see the database instance is getting started. Second node is still not started. The first one is getting started. First node is uh, successfully started. Let's uh, verify by connecting to the database. I'll switch to the Oracle user and I'll load my 19C profile here and then I'll try to connect to the database. This is very simple. Only the first node is started as of now. The second is still in progress. So let's uh, let it start and then we'll try to see what happens, okay? So second node is about to come. As soon as it will come, we'll find out the database status. Okay, so my both the database instance got started and uh, the next thing that we can do here 
we can try to start the recovery. So for that ultra database, the recover managed managed standby recovery using current lock run. This kind of prompt this. Okay, so now we have started the recovery and we'll try to do log switching again and uh, and uh, we also try to see the status. So as of now, we can see that there is no error on the dash two. Okay, and uh, we'll try to do some log switching also using our system archive log current. So this will send archive from both the instances of primary node to standby setup. So, and we can see the media recovery is also successfully happening on the standby setup. So this way we can resolve the issue where, uh, so this is just a simple example that we took where the listener was uh, stopped forcefully and uh, we tried, we have seen like uh, how to then, uh, troubleshoot those issues, how to, what to verify. So we have verified like, on the primary data, we verified the V dollar archive and archive one is for the best where we checked for the errors. And from there, we got the hint there is an issue in the standby uh, listeners. Okay, well, then we try to resolve those issues, but it was not working even after starting. So we finally started the cluster and it resolved our issue. So same way, we have to also look for uh, any, uh, any any other errors from the this particular view that is v$rk underscore dest. You need to just mention the dest ID here. So normally our standby is to configure on second uh, dest ID. If it is desk three, and then accordingly you need to modify and you can verify the status. Okay, and then now we can see our alert log is also very clean on the primary setup, and we can see. So this way you can basically identify the issue and uh, fix those issues. Okay, I hope you have understood uh, this issue. And same way you can let's say there is an issue with the password file or uh, those things, right? And standby generally if we modify anything on primary setup, so uh, sometimes there is a password file issue we get. So the best way to identify those errors, you can basically do these things. And uh, in between, while doing the troubleshooting, you can do the defer and enable also for the test where the standbys are configured. And that way you can basically do troubleshooting. And also you can look for the alert log uh, for any possible errors. And if there is any trace indicating the issue, you can just uh, look for the traces also. So with this, I hope you have understood how to do the troubleshooting standby database. And uh, and uh, I hope hope you have enjoyed this video. Just uh, stay tuned for our next uh, tutorial. Very soon we will be launching more such tutorials, and uh, we'll we'll uh, target now more towards the troubleshooting uh, issue. And previously, I already made a lot of videos. You can just. Uh, uh, watch through those uh, videos like uh, how to, how to configure any uh, rack standby or how to configure a single node standby how to do the switch work which will fail over those things okay and uh, before i stop again i'll request all the new friends to please subscribe our youtube channels and uh, if you are interested about the documents so please uh, get in touch with me on these whatsapp numbers and if you want a full course then, then you can also again reach me on the same with this, I'll stop here and we'll meet in the next class. Thanks for watching this tutorial and have a good, great day. Bye.